with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, certainly an unsettled Saturday on the way. In fact, we already have some showers moving through on live Pinpoint Doppler 12. We can see the heavier showers and downpours here in Connecticut, but we do have a few stripes of showers moving towards the south coast right now. In fact, we can take a closer look and go towards a Galilee, Narragansett Town Beach. You can see some showers in the area on radar, and to verify that, it does indeed look fairly damp from our Narragansett Town Beach camera, but of course, the surfers don't care, not stopping them this morning. And obviously, rain is just uncomfortable. You can certainly surf in that, but do be mindful if you are heading to the coast or have outdoor plans or to the beach today, there will be the chance of some lightning and thunderstorms, even strong thunderstorms. Obviously, that is not a good thing to be outside in, and we will keep you posted both online and on the air today should anything develop. East Providence, looking towards Providence, shows some low clouds there and some rain in the distance. Now, I know you don't want to hear this on a Saturday. We could use the rain. Here's why. Latest update from the U.S. Drought Monitor shows a good chunk of our area in the severe category for the drought, moderate drought category for Washington County. I do think we put at least a little bit of a dent in that rainfall deficit today. We don't make up the whole thing, but a little would help and we'll hopefully get maybe a solid half an inch, maybe an inch in a few spots, although that may be tough to do because things are very scattered today. It could be a situation where one area gets an inch of rain pretty quickly under a downpour and other areas could miss out on that. That is the nature of tropical moisture. Newport Bridge, at least it's visible this morning. Sometimes we can't even see it in the fog and the rain. North Kingstown showing some clouds with some rain in your forecast and our temperatures running in the low 70s. 70 in Smithfield, 72 in Taunton, 73 Newport, 72 Westerly, 71 on Block. Lock Island. Now our dew points continue to soar. We'll be in the low to mid 70s today, so that tropical feel in the air, no doubt about that. I just noticed that as I stepped outside from our studios here in East Providence, it feels pretty muggy. Nine miles an hour for a breeze in Providence, 14 in Newport, nine in Westerly, 10 from the south on Block Island. These breezes around 5 to 15 from the south today. You could get a few gusts stronger than that, especially if some of these stronger storms materialize. Check out the difference. You can kind of see where the warm front is, right? Notice the upper 60s to low 70s for our dew points. That's the muggy air mass, but it's drier. Look at these dew points, northern New England in the 50s and that warm front kind of creating the have and have not situations with those dew points. So our showers, courtesy this cold front move through tonight, you can see that front moving east of the Great Lakes. We also have the leftovers from Laura and the combination will create some of those downpours today. So walking you through the forecast, I think from now into at least lunchtime, fairly frequent showers, a few downpours, even a strong thunderstorm cannot be ruled out. Now, if you're looking for a big gap in the precipitation, you know, I'd say mid to late afternoon, you may have that. Three o'clock, still the chance of some scattered showers and downpours. You get past 5, 6 p.m., you may have some rain free time, but still some more showers and storms could be lurking to our west. Some of these could be strong, but I do think by the time they make it through, they will likely fizzle a little bit, but do be mindful there's still the chance of some rain 10, 11 p.m. tonight as that cold front works towards the area. There will be a payoff from that cold front. Humidity drops in a much drier day on Sunday. Today, 75 by noontime, upper 70s, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It feels pretty muggy out there with some of those showers and downpours on the water. Waves around one to two feet, low tide on the way, 1135. Obviously, visibility poor in any developing showers. Temperatures in the mid 70s early this evening and then overnight in the mid 60s. 79 for Sunday, 75 on Monday. Pretty nice weather there. Then the chance of some more showers and storms Tuesday and Wednesday. Warmer by the end of the week with temperatures in the low to mid 80s. So it's sort of a half and half weekend. Of course, you can always get more updates. Take the forecast with you on your mobile device. You can use the WPRI 12 weather app. Erica.